Built in 1842 on the Old National Road in Grantsville, Maryland, this historic inn has been serving our community and guests for nearly 180 years. My name is Ben Reepsecker. Me and my wife, Elissa, own the Castleman Inn, and this is our Uncommon Story. So when you talk about the Castleman, what does that include? We have a full service restaurant. In the basement of the restaurant, we have a full bakery. And we also have a historic inn above the restaurant. In the back, we also have a more traditional motel. It's a really neat place here in Grantsville, Maryland. We're right along the National Highway. There's mountains all around us. There's plenty of things to do. And I just feel like if you want to relax and come into a quiet country atmosphere, that's, this is the place. It was built around 180 years ago. Solomon Sterner, he bought a big track of land and he made the bricks for this building right off of the ground. It's been named several different names over the years. From 1964 to 2017, the Miller family, which was my wife's um, great aunt and great uncle, owned the, the building and the restaurant. My wife's mother and all her sisters, everybody worked here. It was kind of a family operation at that time. Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine owning a restaurant. It's not even something that was on the radar. The fa Miller family is important to them to keep it in the family, and I think that is probably the reason we got asked. But I enjoy working with people, and I felt like, God, if this is what you want us to do, I'm in. And that's kind of how it started as we go through this um, journey. It, it helps me keep focused on what is important. That it's not just me, I'm just a little piece of history in this whole thing. And to me, that's really exciting just to know that we're still part of that history. So coming in here as a new guy, how do you start? I just started from the bottom, just like anybody else would. I wanted to know how this place works inside and out. I feel like the staff, we're just common folks from different backgrounds from all over the place. But we get together and we make a great team because we care and love, love each other like family. And um, as, as I grow, I start thinking about my employees. I feel like that's probably where my passion is. Some of the biggest goals I have is how can we make a difference in our community? And you might say, well, you just have an inn or a restaurant. Yeah, but that's all it takes. Part of my vision is to have these young men, young women come in and we mentor them. I've told people, I believe in you, I know you can do this. And sometimes that's just what they need. They've never heard that before. So to me, I feel like we can change a community in this business. And the other thing I really stress is I want them to feel how it is to bless somebody. Often before I leave at the end of the day, I'll say, hey, make sure you give away three desserts each of you today. And, and you know you're really getting somewhere. When I heard the other day that one guest came out and they said someone paid for his meal. He was just so emotional about it. And here one of the waitresses felt like he was having a bad day, so she used her money to buy the guy's meal. And that's the kind of stuff that when I know, when I see that happening, I'm like, oh, we're getting it. If you look over the history of the inn, of all these years of just serving people. I feel like that is who we need to be. And when the needs in the community arise, we want to be the first ones to be there and say, hey, what can I do for you? 